The ghost plant is a gorgeous species of Graptivaria that is known for its pale blue, purple, or pink leaves that appear almost wilted or dead, hence the name. This succulent is incredibly hardy, safe to have around pets, and has a unique appearance makes it an ideal starter succulent for anyone looking to spruce up their home with a unique, eye-catching plant. If you want to learn more about how to help your ghost plant thrive, stay tuned! Ghost plants are generally easy to care for, and like most succulents, they aren't too picky. The challenge of raising a ghost plant instead comes from its leaf color. A healthy ghost plant will look slightly wilted and discolored all the time simply because its leaves are usually pale blue and covered in a thick farnia layer. Ghost plant works well in both bright, indirect light and direct sun. The thick farina layer protects the plant's leaves from sunburn, although if you keep your ghost plant in direct sun, make sure it has a shaded reprieve during the hottest parts of the afternoon. Ghost plants also change color based on how much sunlight they get. Full sun ghost plants have pinker leaves, and indirect sun ghosties have blue-gray leaves. Like all succulents, the one thing ghost plants are picky about is soil. You'll need plenty of well-draining sandy soil to keep these guys happy. I recommend modifying a store-bought cactus mix with a little bit of coarse sand, but if you want to make your own soil mix, use peat, perlite, and coarse sand to provide optimal drainage. When you water your ghost plant, be sure to do so only when the soil is completely dry to the touch. These succulents are highly drought resistant, so if you want, wait until your ghost plant's leaves start shriveling before watering. Use a watering bottle, single hole watering can to water your succulent as deeply as possible. You can also use the bottom water method. Ghost plants prefer climates similar to USDA agricultural zones 9 through 11. However, these little guys are surprisingly cold hardy compared to their succulents in the same climate range. Although they aren't frost tolerant, ghost plants can survive a brief chill under 50 degrees Fahrenheit and won't shrivel at a slight draft. If you're growing these little guys outside, just make sure you bundle them up before winter comes. Indoors, ghost plants aren't picky and thrive in common household temperatures that range from 65 to 85 degrees. Generally, when you handle your ghost plant, wearing gloves is a good idea. Although these ghosties aren't toxic, they have a thick layer of succulent farina that our skin oils can easily remove. To avoid messing with this waxy layer, I like to wear gloves. Ghost plants are one of the many succulents that don't like a lot of fertilizer, and if you need to fertilize, you should only do so with a little bit of compost during the spring and fall growing seasons. When you repot your ghost plant, be sure to do so only during the spring and fall so they have plenty of time and energy to adjust to their new environment and recover from any potential damage. When you do repot, make sure you choose a pot made from porous material like concrete, terracotta, or ceramic to further improve your environment's drainage. Ghost plants also flower during the spring and fall, and they sprout beautiful tiny yellow or white flowers. Ghost plants aren't monocarpic, so feel free to enjoy these flowers whenever you see them. If you want to propagate your ghost plant, simply trim off a leaf or shoot with a clean, sharp pair of scissors or knife. Wait 24 hours for your cutting to callus over and dip into a rooting hormone to help encourage root growth. Then place your cutting in a pot of soil and mist the cutting often to ensure the soil stays nice and moist. You should start to see some root growth within a few weeks. As always, if you've enjoyed this video, give us a like and feel free to comment. If you want to see more content from us, hit that subscribe button and the little bell icon to get notifications whenever we upload a new video. Thank you so much for watching and happy gardening. For more, you can find us at succulentsbox.com or on YouTube, TikTok, Facebook, Instagram, and Pinterest.